Hey, it's Jacqueline here, and we've been hearing a lot from buyers right now that they're really confused and frustrated when it comes to pricing in our local real estate market. I thought this would be a good opportunity to go back to utilizing some of my kids' toys to debunk some of the myths and explain exactly what's happening when it comes to the pricing of homes in our local real estate market. And here to help me today, I've got my friends, the three little piggies. The three little piggies all reside in the community of Pigsville, naturally, and they all have homes that are worth roughly the same amount. Each of them has decided to go onto the market, and in Pigsville, a home like theirs typically sells in and around a million dollars. So our first little piggy calls his friend Realtor Ralph. They have a conversation in terms of exactly what pricing strategy they should utilize. Little Piggy, he doesn't want a lot of people through his house. He wants a very straightforward, simple process. So Realtor Ralph recommends that they go to market at fair market value, meaning that they're not going to underprice the home. They're going to go on the market at pretty much where they expect to sell. So they decide, let's list the first Little Piggy's house at a million and $50,000. And just to ensure in case another buyer wants to come along and also offer on the house, they put what's called a 48 hour irrevocable on the offer. And what that means is that when a buyer comes and offers on Mr. Piggy's house, they have a mandatory 48 hours or roughly two days to respond to the offer. What that allows is that in the event that there is a second buyer that wants to come in and offer, they also have the opportunity to do that. So again, First piece, Piggy goes to the market at a million fifty thousand with a 48 hour irrevocable. Second Piggy comes along, he wants to list his house and he calls his friend Susie the salesperson. So Susie the salesperson, she's been in real estate for a long time and she decides, you know what, I think we should hold offers. I've been seeing a lot of success with that. And what that means is that a buyer will have a period of time to go through the house. So typically speaking, what's going to happen is they're going to list their home usually a little bit below what the actual value of the house is and have it that they're not going to look at offers for a certain period of time, for example, five days. So the second little piggy will sign what's called a seller's direction, stating that they are not going to look at offers for five days, allowing all the little piggies and friends in the piggy communities to come through and see their house. So they decide, let's go to market at $899.9, and we're not going to look at offers for five days. So again, second little piggy, he goes to the market at $899.9. And they're not going to look at offers for five days with Susie, the salesperson. The third little piggy, he calls his friend, let's just say he's city slicker Sam, shall we? So in terms of he's never actually been to Pigsville before. He doesn't really know what a home is worth in Pigsville. He looks at the comparable sales, but isn't really too sure in terms of where the property is going to sell. So he tells Little Piggy, you know what, I think lower is always better. Let's go to market at, say, $599. And I know what you're thinking. This sounds ridiculous as to why anybody would list a house $599 that's worth a million. But I can assure you it's happening pretty commonly in our local marketplace. So third Little Piggy, he trusts his friend, City Slicker Sam, and they go on the market at $599. And they also decide they're going to hold offers for five days. So there we go, third little piggies on the market. So this is where the confusion comes in. We've got buyers here represented by our friend, Mr. Wolf. They come in and they come down for the weekend to look at homes in Pigsville. They've got three pretty similar products, one listed at a million fifty thousand, one listed at eight ninety nine, and one listed at five ninety nine. So you can see where the confusion is coming from that the homes listed at $599 and $899 were never worth these prices. These are just specific strategies that the realtors and the sellers have decided to utilize. Now, the interesting thing with this is that sometimes these strategies work, sometimes they don't. But at the end of the day, when you look at pricing, generally speaking, all of these homes in the end are going to probably sell for roughly what they are worth in and around a million dollars. They're just three different strategies that people use in terms of the marketing. So I hope that helped explain a little bit of what's going on when it comes to pricing in the local real estate market. If you have any other questions, feel free to send us a DM or reach out.